an enterprising place and an inspiring place, and they have these marketing strengths. But of course, there and having to work with it, what I would call the umbrella connection. The umbrella of a document that Agma produced, which on the page runs to 70 odd pages, which is an interesting read, uh, talking about what they see the opportunities for the combined authority or the one they have for many years and what lines they're going to take. Like, ah, what lines are they taking in Manchester to that big authority? And what lines are we taking here? Do they fit together? Do they cooperate? Do they gel in some way? Uh, because in their documents it's called the opportunity. It talks about living quality lines and quality places in quality places. Talking about making neighborhoods sufficiently attractive to attract and retain the diverse labor market requires to support the growth objective. So, of course, I then look at the figures for the number of people going into work, the work, the number of people going out of work, which they do work, so 40,000 going out, 15,000 going in, that kind of difference. And then we go to think, well, what are the sites that we've got? What are the ones on our list? And of course, the list runs to pages and pages and pages, many of which are environmental or other constraints, many of which were reviewed in studies we did in detail, because there's 170 odd pages in the document uh, that I did the review in the line of Ailes Jim Rowe, the Employment Plan and Premises Study. There was a refresh in 2012, in September 2012, which went through very many sites and looked at the constraints. We still came back to this issue of, well, there's the business park, there's rural waters, and there's lots of little states. And that they me think, well, what are we doing? What can we do? Even though the privately owned, we may not want to return or cannot return to the days when, if you had a project, you went searching for gap funding to help with your market rent and share, and the gap, the money went to make, and were able to draw down lots of gap funding. But there must be a way forward that enables us to uh, reasonably like it the wrong way, because many of the developers are doing it. The ones that have been around look at it in a purely uh, non professional and purely sort of let's go have a look and see what they look like nowadays. Uh, suggest that some have done the look, and some are perhaps falling behind or languishing behind. And there may be opportunity to look at those and say, this is a key site for a local area. Employs people from the nearby community. They may not have to travel particularly long distances across the whole world to get to the retail part or the business part of the road. There is scope for ensuring that many of them have got something on the doorstep to cure language terms, but where there are enterprises, where there are businesses, we are doing what we can to help them those smaller estates survive and develop in the future. And that was the purpose of the notice of motion. Uh, quite happy for members to say, well, Problems of that, or there's some need we should follow. But since uh, we're now looking forward, I hope the projections of the client authority may or may not be lodged um, or understood, and then we make all the progress looking for bids, funding bids, and funding streams. It struck me that there was a way of packaging some of the things we've done and saying, our poor waters and our poor business are here, and what we've got in world with employment, the opportunity for employment on the doorstep. Is that being the narrative of it? And that's where I started from, that's why I wrote the motion. Thank you for that. Uh, do any members have any questions that you would like to ask? That's not a question, but I think Bill Lambert himself was second in it. I mean, I think, I think it's one of those notes of motions that poses questions rather than uh, try to give solutions. Um, and I was hoping that the, the officers would say where we're at and what are their major policy questions are there to be asked. I mean, we have reviewed the investment strategy. Uh, there are some big questions that, that other parties have tackled. You know, we, we, we have more or less made a, a decision that we will focus housing and um, uh, business development <coughs> more or less in brownfield sites, around the docks and, and, and the waters. Other authorities have posed a very different question uh, and gone completely different route. Chester, for example, have released large swathes of what was designated as, as green belts as their way forward. Uh, so I think it, it, it asks questions. The, 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 the sort of thing that I've seen happening uh, is something that happens at the planning committee is almost uh, a change in policy by stealth. Where we've had uh, large sites, particularly in the Bromberg corridor, or in 
that uh, many applications that come to the planning commission that are not water capacity and oil of use in its, in its you know, proper, proper sense, and they've slightly gone to the leisure side. So we, we give a large warehouse spaces to uh, cricket centers, to rugby practicing, so on and so forth. And, uh, and we, we've almost sort of said, well, the economy's so bad, any use is better than for employment use. And uh, I wonder whether by stealth or by encroachment we are undermining what we've already got. But uh, I was hoping the office would give us an update and perhaps take this a little bit further with a further report to, to pose some of the key questions for us to help the Vice Cabinet uh, in when they update the, the, the investment strategy. So that's how I see your helpful um, solution bit as a, as a prompt to do some work and move on. If that, can I just ask Bill, is that the, is that the intention of oh, it? Well, I certainly appreciate that, because certainly there were studies in that 2012 study on maintenance units and the size of maintenance units and the distribution of them. Uh, I'm just turning that page up, uh, which I did manage to print off. There was a page hmm, 61 in the 2012 study, which based on figures from 2008, so it may be we need to re review those. In the case of the specific things of Council Parks and the Medal Twenty that you prepared, there were lots of debate about whether to release some of those units and the debate was well actually nobody's taking it up for a long time and this is the only kid on the block of the block project because there were people actually interested in having some successes in that and also some things never took off and failed. So uh, they did bring some units into use and help some other people relocate. Perhaps if we could get an update on what was Table 33 in the 2012 report on the location and size of making the industrial property, it was a snapshot at the time before the Great Crash. And people survived the Great Crash, so many people have got survived the Great Crash. We need to take a snapshot to see what's going on.